In this chapter, we are going to see how to handle different types of frames. So handling frame is very easy in Selenium. We have a function called switch to dot frame and within the frame, we have to pass three arguments. It can be any of them. For example, we can pass the index that is based on the integer and then web element and then we can pass the ID or the name. Let's see in detail. So for example, I'm going to take our lit code application and if I go within the uh, practice session and here we have a frame. Now if I go inside that, we can see that we have this particular uh, page here, right? So enter first name, enter last name and then uh, also we have like entry event. So this is within one frame and this element is within another frame. Now how to identify whether the element is within frame or not is very simple. Once I do the right click, here you can see that it says like view frame source. That means this particular portion is within the frame. If I do the same on the right hand side, you can see we do not have anything called view frame source. We have page source. Page source is like you're the uh, different from the frame source. So if I mouse over, I mean do the context click or the right click here, you can see that we have options like view frame source, right? That is one of the way to identify even without checking the inspect the Chrome DevTool console. But of course we have to inspect and check because there might be one or multiple frames. In my scenario, if I go and type double slash iframe, here you can see that I have almost like 23 frames in this particular page. So it will be not a good idea to um, just uh, switching like zero or one or maybe based on something. We cannot, we should not switch. We have to inspect, we have to check how many numbers of iframes are there, then we have to probably use, okay. In my case, the first one is this particular uh, frame where I have like SRC of uh, frame UI, the ID and name both are same, the first frame, right? And then uh, let's say we have multiple frames, right? So how do I say this is the first frame, right? So if I go and inspect this particular element and from the element, if I move little upwards, you can see that uh, we have another HTML tag, right? So the web pages basically how the html is designed is basically with the html tag and if you are saying html within html that is frame how to confirm that it's very simple the second html tag will be within the iframe tag so there are two frames one is iframe and another one is the frame there is just some few differences based on the html perspective but most of the applications nowadays are iframe only however if you see iframe or a frame the concept of handling frames in Selenium is going to be very same, okay? Now let's see how to handle this. Before that, let me show you one thing. Here we have the uh, input name equal to f name, right? So I'm just going to copy the name uh, value here and I'm going to say driver dot find element by name and I'm going to pass the value and I'm going to say dot send keys and then followed by my name here, right? Now let's try to run this let's see what happens okay so i'm going to right click run as a uh, java application uh, sorry for that so before that i have to of course go to the frames and i have to pass this url right so i'm just i'll just copy that url and i will paste in my driver dot get right so let's go and here i'm going to navigate to this one right now let's go and run this once again. And here you can see that the name is not entered here. And if I go back to my console, you can see that we are going to get some exception like no such element. No such element exception in the sense uh, we are passing some value and the value is not there. That is the no such element. But we know that that particular locator is correct here, right? The reason here is by default selenium always go and search for the main page okay for example uh, here we have this mp right mp in the sense main page or the first initial page that is loaded in the browser and within that we have f1 frame one now i have to switch my context from the mp that is main page to the f1 that is the frame one because within this frame only i have my email i mean the first name and the last name right so let's see how to switch as I said earlier, we can switch in three different ways. Let me show you that. So I'm going to say driver dot switch to dot frame. And here you can see that we have index, name or ID, or even we can pass the web element. Which one is recommended to use? You can use anything that doesn't really matter. But if you have a name or ID, that will be like unique in the web page. So you can go with that first. Okay. 
So let me copy the value from here and it has a uh, something called first fr I think. Yeah, first fi. So here name and id both are same. So I can copy any of them. So it should work fine. Okay. I'm going to just pass it as a string. That's it. Very simple. Okay. Now let's go and try to run this. Before that, I'm going to comment this so that we can see the output, right? Okay. And this time you can see that we have typed this one successfully, right? Now, uh, we'll take the second scenario where we have to uh, interact with the inner frame. So this is also another frame, right? So if I go and inspect and here you can see that uh, it is within the image, I mean input where it has a name called email. And if I go up slightly, you can see that uh, it has another HTML, right? So this is basically the HTML within the HTML. That means here is our main page. Within that, I have a frame one and within that I have a F2. So how to move is basically from the main page, I cannot go directly to the frame two. I have to go to the frame one first, then from the frame one, I have to go to the frame two. Okay, now let's go. So we are already in the frame two. So what I mean, we are already in the frame one. So what we can do is we can again say like driver dot um, switch to dot frame. And here I can pass the index as zero. Why I am passing index as zero in the sense Within that frame, I have only one frame. So I'm just targeting the first frame here. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, use the email. So driver dot find element by name. And then I'm going to say email. And then I'm going to say send case and uh, some email. Okay. So mail at mail.com, something like that. Okay. Now let's go and try to run this now. Okay, so here you can see the first name is typed, uh, the email is also typed, okay. Now once I typed on it, let's say that I want to click on this particular button that is refer to video, refer the video, right. So let's go and click on that, I mean inspect on that and here uh, I can use the text path to grab the X path. So let me just inspect in this browser. Okay, and here it has a unique tag name called button. So we can use the tag name as well. So let me copy just to make sure you can say like double slash button and uh, it's a triple double slash, right? So here you can see that we have only one of one. So I'm going to show you how to use the tag name as well. So I'm just going to copy that. And here, um, after entering the email, let me try to do this. Okay, so, um, driver dot find element by tag name we have something called tag name and i'm going to say the click function here right this will fail definitely but let me show you why it's going to fail or how to handle this one okay um yeah let's see okay so here you can see the name is typed the email is typed but after that it doesn't click if has if the click has been happened then it will go to this particular videos page but it doesn't happen right the reason here is basically we are getting no such element but we know that the element is there why because as i said earlier if we have to interact anything within the frame we have to switch to the frame similarly if you have to interact anything outer uh, other than the frame or the outer side of the frame then from the frame again we have to switch our focus for that we have two functions let me show you so here if you see this is our main page right so from the main page we have navigated to the frame right so from the main page we have navigated to the frame one and from the frame one we have navigated to the frame two now if i have to come out from the frame two to the main page i have a function called default content okay so default content is the function name that is used to come from any of the nested frame to the main page directly but if i have to move from frame two to the frame one then i have a function called parent frame okay so parent frame so i can use any of the functions based on my requirement i hope this makes sense to you okay let me show you the example so this button is basically within the main page right so for that i can say like driver dot switch to dot parent frame uh, sorry not the parent frame i have to say default content default content in the sense i will come out of all the nested frames if I say parent frame, that means uh, first from the frame, inner frame, I will come to this frame. From the frame, again, I have to say 
parent rib then only it will go to the main page right but if i use default content that means it will go out from all the uh, nested element, nested frames okay i'm not writing notes uh, because i believe you are writing the notes okay so let me show you uh, by executing this and here you can see that we are now on the video page because the click has happened right so that's a very pretty simple concept okay now in this uh, frame we have we'll get two egg uh, not two, we will we'll get only one exception. For example, let's say that I'm going to type something wrong here. And then if I try to execute, what will happen in the sense? It will uh, throw an exception as no such frame exception. Okay, let us see that. Okay, now if I go back to my Eclipse, you can see no such frame exception. So these are the exception we will get in Selenium when we are trying to deal anything with the frame. Okay, so let me clear it up here. Okay, so that's it. This is the very simple concept of frame. We can switch to frame, we can do whatever we want and if we have to switch again within that, we can again, we have to switch and to come out, we have two functions. One is the default content and another one is the parent frame. Default content in the sense will come out from all the nested, parent in the sense it will just go one step above. Okay. I hope that makes sense to you and as usual, we are going to create our base class for this as well. So if I go to my base package and within the Selenium base class, I'm going to write a function to handle the uh, frame right so i will say like um, public and i don't need anything as a uh, return type so i will make it as void and i will write a function like switch to frame and i can uh, write a over overloaded function as well so just in case if you if the interview asks like why do you use overloaded functions in your framework you can say this one right switch to frame where i'm going to pass the same concept here as well as selenium did so i'm going to say int i and then i'm going to say uh, web element and then i'm going to pass a string name or id okay so name or id that's it very simple and within this this code is very simple driver dot switch to uh, frame and where I will pass the I right and just for our uh, uh, knowledge I mean just for to know that we have switched I will just say like uh, switch to frame correctly okay so switch to the I frame right so whatever we are going to pass that one we will say okay that's it and then here also the same concept nothing much here so we'll just uh, copy paste and here we'll just pass the element and here we'll pass the uh, name or id okay that's it very neat and clean and here we'll say like switch to the frame switch to the frame okay and here also we'll say the same okay okay so that's it now you might ask me like Kaushik, the same line we can call within the script itself why we have to create a function and why we have to call the reason is we can handle the exception so once we learn the try catch we will implement all the try catch here we will write a uh, we can write a function to take a screenshot so we can write a functions to call the logs right so that is the use of framework the reusable functions okay we'll see all the details in basic i mean we'll see all the examples in our upcoming lectures so just stick with me you will definitely learn it okay so that's it for the frame uh, we'll meet again in the next chapter